containers um, from my bulk reef supply. What I did was I bought um, calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium. Those are my three containers. And I want to buy doser pumps, but I am waiting for them to come off of back order. Um, pumps have been back order for quite a while. I contacted Bulk Reef Supply and they do not know when they're going to be. They don't have a hard date for when they're going to be in. Um, so I'll be dosing um, on my own and I'll have to show someone else how to do that. But, you know, obviously that's not going to be for a little bit. There's not even any rock in the tank, so maybe the pumps will be in by then. Um, also, in case anyone's wondering, you can't see it. There's no cover plate on my electrical outlet. I don't think I can get down there to see it. Because I installed the GFI and then didn't realize I didn't have an outlet cover to go with it, so I have to get one for that. But I did install a GFI um, to uh, go into the wall. And then up top is the Reef Keeper PC4. And then there's the SL2. That's where my Moonlight controller was. And then there's the other PC4. I know there's not a lot of light and it's really hard to see. Um, and then what I did was I ran the cord out the back and then I put the uh, head unit right next to the get back here I put the head unit right next to the uh, to the cabinet so that I figured that was the best place for it and no I don't have any cabinet doors yet um, procrastinating still haven't ordered them and let me tell you this ASM skimmer this thing gurgles the air tube sucks air right here and it is loud so I've got to get the doors going for this Something that happened with the Reef Keeper is that uh, I ordered the moon lights, the lunar lights. Um, thought it was a pretty cool thing. I had to order some other supplies anyways. So I ordered the lunar lights. And what I did was, hey, you can call me not the brightest uh, cookie in the jar or however you want to say it. What I did was, um, if you can probably see here, there's two lunar lights just above the surface of the water. And they are mounted on the center brace so I hooked everything up I had them going it looked awesome in here I mean it was still a little cloudy from me filling it back with water but it looked really good so I had blue and whites in there um, came down the next morning the lights were off couldn't figure out what the heck was going on and one of the lights fell into the water came disconnected fell into the water and shorted out my moonlight controller and my SL2 is actually shorted also. It doesn't not show up on the head unit. So I contacted um, Digital Aquatics. That's where I purchased uh, the Moonlights and the, you know, most of my um, Reef Keeper Elite products from I got from Digital Aquatics themselves. Um, I called, I, I emailed them, told them what happened. I'm not the type of person that's just going to send it back and say, well, you know, you sent me a defective part. I told them what happened and they offered to fix them um, at no cost and if they can't fix them then they are going to um, they are going to give me 20 percent off on purchasing new ones so i thought that was pretty good of them um, so i'm not going to have my reef keeper uh, well actually the reef keeper is working the modules are working um, the two pc4s that's another thing I, I don't know what everyone else does maybe someone can give me some pointers but uh Right now, with the two PC4s, all of my outlets are taken. That's why I have this white cord here, because that goes to another surge protector. Um, I think I'm going to have to, yeah, I mean, we'll, I, I don't know anyone who has a Reef Keeper really. Anyone who has a Reef Keeper um, in general, maybe they can comment on should I get another PC4? Should I get two small adapter modules? Or should I just leave the other surge protector in there and uh, and go from there? Um, so I don't, I don't know exactly what to do about that. Oh, another thing I did was thanks to New York Stilo, um, his idea of the carpeting to dampen the sound. So I have, I did the same thing as he did. I went to Home Depot, found this roll. It was uh, 
two, 24 inches by, by 5 feet, 60 inches. Um, the 24 inch width fit exactly. I cut it down to size and um, there I go. So now I have a carpet underneath my sump and actually I put a piece of carpet underneath the Mag 7. Um, that quieted that down quite a bit. So that's about it. This is my, uh, this is my build. This is my sump working. Thank God it's, it's working finally. Um, no cracks, no leaks. Everything's looking good. Um, obviously see here, here's what I'm talking about. See how the one is uh, bent down? So I'm going to have to do something. That's another thing I was uh, thinking of, of asking. Maybe someone can comment on should I keep covers on the sump? And actually, I mean, I, I have a little problem with neatness and cleanness. That's why that's why I, I ran my plumbing the way I did. Um, I didn't like the hoses sticking all over. And I put the covers on there for, for two. The main reason was to keep the splashing down because I, I can't stand it if there's salt creep all over here. Um, one of the reasons, when I was growing up, we had a fresh water tank. Um, always loved it growing up. It was great. And one of the reasons I never purchased or got into the salt water hobby is because every time you go into a pet store or salt water aquarium store, all you saw was salt creep everywhere. Um, and you still see that in some stores today, and that stuff drives me nuts. That's why I thought that was, was the normal way that uh, aquariums were until, uh, until this process starting this year. So um, that was the main reason for putting that on there. Obviously, it holds my light also. Um, so, and the other was evaporation to try to control some of the evaporation. I, I am going to put an auto top off in. However, I don't know if I'm going to put a container here with a pump or if I am going to um, rig up my RODI unit from across my house over to the sump. Um, that'll be in another video to come. So um, here's the other thing here. Uh, the covers on top of the tank. I like them. Keeps noise down, which the noise doesn't bother I me. Mean, there's not a whole lot of noise here, but you know, they're constantly getting dirty. I mean, you can see the hardness on top of there. A um, little bit of salt on top of there also. My question is, do you stay with an open top or do you keep it closed with a glass like that? Um, obviously you're going to get a lot better light. And I, and I do have a cover um, on the bottom of my tech light here. There is a cover there. So I'm not worried about uh, the, the lamps getting uh, salt on them. Um, but, you know, this gets condensation all on it for some reason. There's not a whole lot of condensation on them now, but it gets condensation on it and you're not going to get the um, same amount of light. There's some same amount of light through the, through the glass. So I guess that's the other question to keep covers on the sump and the, uh, and the, the, the top of the tank or to take them off. So um, that's about it for now. Um, hopefully, uh, I'm a little bit caught up with work. I'm still going in and out of town, but uh, not for weeks on end. So um, thank you for watching and subscribing. Almost up to 100 subscribers now. That's pretty awesome. I never thought, uh, you know, that I would get that many people that were actually interested in my videos. I, you know, I'm doing this process for me, and maybe, you know, I want to show the bad too. That's why I, I don't um, hold back when I say, you oh, know, one of my lights fell in. It's going to cost me another 160 bucks probably. Um, that's the way it is, and that's the way my process is going. So hopefully someone won't make the same mistakes I am. Um, and I'm not afraid to show, uh, you know, exactly how things are going for me. Um, so, again, thank you for watching. Thanks to all my subscribers. 